Hi, Nick Perdomo of Perdomo Cigars. There are many ways to light a cigar, and in this video, I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of each one that I use regularly. Naturally, one way to light a cigar is matches. And they come in long and short. And I recommend you get the longest ones possible because they do burn very fast because they're wood and we don't want to burn our fingers. They have pluses and minuses. The pluses are they have sulfur ends and it won't affect the flavor of your cigar, which I like very much. It also works very good if you're inside. If you go outside, the minus is the wind. So if you're going to use matches, and a lot of people have a preference for matches, make sure you're inside where there's little wind to no wind. And because of that, it's not my favorite because a lot of times we're outside and so on. But matches is one of them. Another way is the old cedar stick. And basically these are just strips of, of Spanish cedar. And a lot of cigars even have cedar wrapped around them. One of ours does, our Edición de Silvio, uh, in, in the actual individual coffins come wrapped in cedar. And that's just to imbue a slight amount of aroma into the, into the actual cigars. But I find it redundant because you're going to have to light the cedar stick to light the cigar again. And I, I find that to be, like I said, a little, little redundant, but it is fancy. And another thing is that the cedar burns so fast that you got to watch you don't burn your hand. And a lot of people think that also when you light up with a cedar stick, you're going to imbue cedar into the cigar. I'll be quite honest with you. I've never tasted it. But if you like it, that's cool. And of course you have a soft flame lighter. And there's pros and cons of a soft flame lighter. The pros are they're very easy to buy. You can actually purchase them in any supermarket, gas station, like most of us know. And you can have everything from a Bic all the way to something real fancy like this. And what's important is on any soft flame lighter that it has butane, because butane burns clean and it doesn't affect the flavor of the actual cigar where there are some lighters that actually have petroleum-based fuels that are put in and when you smoke the cigar you'll actually taste the foulness of that fuel when you smoke it so make sure your lighter has butane and yes the standard big lighter uses real butane just like this fancy soft flame lighter the cons of the lighter of course are windy days whether it be outside or even inside with under a ceiling fan or so on because a soft flame is going to blow out What's important is if you like it, and a lot of people like soft flame lighters, okay? When I'm sitting in a lounge, I like a soft flame lighter, but I also, and I've talked about this previously on, on several of our videos on the importance of toasting the foot of the cigar. When you have a soft flame lighter, it's kind of hard to toast the foot of the cigar, but you have to be a little patient with it, but there's nothing wrong with it. So those are the pros and cons that I think of a soft flame lighter. And finally, you have the torch lighter. This is my personal favorite. It's the most commonly used lighter today. We actually did a survey. We had 143 smokers, and we asked them what their favorite way was to light a cigar. 83% picked the torch lighter. And it's great. You can use it in any environment. You can use it at the golf course. You can be outside. It can be a windy day. They come in single flame. They come in double torch. They come in triple torch. A lot of them have punch cuts. This new one that we have from Perdomo actually is chargeable. So it has no piezo and it just has a soft touch and you get you get a great you get a great torch at the same time. What I like about it is the accuracy of it also, you know, I can light the cigar. Just get on the heat source just above the flame and light my cigar perfectly. They even come in colored flames now at night. Let's say you're outside, you're hunting in the evening or you're in a really dark spot. You can get colors of green and red and blue. And what I love about them is they take butane and they're reusable and you can use them consistently. So I really like them for those reasons and I really like them because of the accuracy. If there's one downside, if I had to think about on the torch lighter, it's these three letters, TSA. Those are the only guys that give us a hassle when it comes to these because be careful when you go to the airport, they'll take these away from you. They won't talk, they won't take the soft flame away from you, but they will take these. And because these lighters are more expensive, make sure you check them underneath the airplane. Now that you know which is the best lighter to use, check out this video 
and you can see what the best cutter is or another video on how to properly light your cigar. 